Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the line tracking sensor known as KY033. This is the module itself. So, let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy. They can be shipped worldwide. So don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board a line tracker one potentiometer, one microchip, four resistors and one LED. The resistor R1 used in this module is 1.5 kilo ohms. Resistor R3 is 10 kilo ohm. The resistor R4 is 220 ohms. Resistor R5 is 10 kilo ohm. And the main reason for using the resistors is to limit current circulating inside the module. In other words, to prevent current from burning our module. The LED L1 is used in this module to show us if the module is in the lane or not. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensor itself and of course the four resistors and the LED D1. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in black the flow of the ground, we have in red the flow of the voltage and of course we have in green the flow of the signal. This module it is used to detect if the module is in line or not. And it does that by detecting the surface that the sensor is facing. As you can see, when I direct the module outside of the lane, the LED turns on to tell us that the sensor is not in the lane. And it actually does that by detecting the surface itself. More precisely, it detects if the surface reflects the light or if the surface absorbs the light. The reason why we use the black color for the lane is that the black color actually absorbs the light that the transmitters send to the surface. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are three. We have the ground pin with a GND sign the voltage pin with a VCC sign and of course the pin of the signal with an OUT sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives a digital signal so we can connect the pins of the signal with any digital ports of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today, if you like the video hit that like button, if you want more videos like this one hit the subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video, we upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription, don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.